trying to hang on to their independence while on a fixed income. The residents of a local retirement community hope you can help them get to their doctor's appointments or just simply get out of the house. News Channel 5's Todd Walker is here to explain. Well, Rory, transportation options for these seniors are pretty limited, and we may not see $7 round trip as all that much for a ride. Sometimes it can mean the difference between going to the doctor or having no money for food. At Dandridge Towers in South Nashville, just the thought of getting out and about is enough to get some of the residents excited. You can go anywhere in Nashville, anywhere you want to go. Most don't walk well and all don't make much money. They all have a very fixed income. The average person here makes 600 to 800 a month. So for many residents, the only option is to use the MTA access ride. They call up a bus and go wherever they need to. There's people that use this 100 to 150 times a month. It's $3.40 in each direction. One lady had to go back and forth to the hospital 19 times in one month. The cost of access rides can be steep, even though it's very discounted on their fixed incomes. The closest hospital is just down the street, but it takes traversing two steep hills and a rather large step up onto a regular MTA bus. So now the push is on to get the residents some help paying for access rides. There are, I think, a lot of people who would like to, but again, as you say, the price of it holds them back from using it. Council Lady Devette Blaylock and the Dandridge Towers are now asking for people to donate access ride tickets. These folks need rides. They need rides to go to church. They need rides to go to their doctor's appointments, the hospital. It's either sometimes, well, do you want your medication, food, or do you want to go to the store? A choice no one should have to make, and they hope no one ever will. So having donated tickets for the residents here is a super bonus. So if you'd like to donate access ride tickets, we've got information on how to do that inside this story right now on newschannel5.com.